Hey, Dave Lacalli with Head Games Motorworks. Today, we are going to pocket port an Audi B8 cylinder head. Check it out. All right, so full disclosure, we just got into these and we did some research and development on it. And we learned that a pocket port and a valve job actually picks these things up quite a bit. Now I've seen people want to do full ports and they have done full ports on these only online, not the head games. And we realized that these heads actually flow really, really well just by doing what we're doing here. Will they handle a thousand horsepower? Absolutely. And I'm going to show you what we did. I doubt many of you are going to do this at home, but all these principles apply to any cylinder head that you plan on working on. And we're also going to offer a valve train package for these cylinder heads. Now we're not going to do valves because there's no valves available and well, unless you're going to spend a lot of money on them, it's going to get really, really expensive to get custom ones made. It's just not available. But the spring kit is the situation because the OEM spring kits really just don't have much to offer. And a lot of the aftermarket ones we've seen don't have much to offer there as well because if you're going to make, I should say, if you're going to make under 700, the world is your oyster. But if you're going to make over 700, you need a spring package that is just going to knock your socks off. And that is where we worked with GSC Power Division. We came up with something for this cylinder head. It's going to be on the B8 and the B9. And we're going to be able to bring that to you pretty shortly. To start off, we knocked the valve guides out. We knocked the valve guides out because you cannot get to all this area here with the valve guide in the cylinder head. So when we knocked the guides out, really, we're just making it so we can have more room to do what we need to do. The other thing we're gonna be able to provide by knocking the guides out is we're gonna be able to switch materials. So the exhaust is actually a steel guide and we're gonna be able to put manganese bronze in it. And then uh, we're gonna be able to put a bronze guide on the intake as well. So the advantage of going to a bronze guide is we can run a tighter clearance and uh, it has a natural lubricity. So because it has natural lubricity, it has less friction and it's gonna take heat away from the valve. It is not imperative, but since we're already removing the valve guide, why would we just put the stock stuff back in? And that is why we do that. So what am I gonna be porting this with? I'm gonna be using my Makita GD0603 grinder. I don't know if I can get that. There you go. 603 grinder. And I am going to be using two burrs. So one burr, this is gonna be for the intake and that is the Head Games Super Spiral Burr. You can find this on headgamesmotorworks.com. I'll put some links on the bottom here. And for the exhaust side, we're gonna be using the Head Games Half Inch Super Spiral Burr. You can also find this at headgamesmotorworks.com. I'll put a link on the bottom. If you're new to this channel, you don't know what the pocket port is. A pocket port is porting the area underneath the valve seat and the short side radius. So the runner itself stays stock. All we're doing is porting the area underneath the valve seat, the short side radius, and we're doing it in relation to the size of the valve. So it's gonna be a certain percentage of the size of the valve is what we're gonna make the port to. And it's just the area, so it's like, I don't know, maybe a half inch underneath the size of the valve. And we blend that all in and you do the right valve job. And we're talking a 30 to 40 CFM gain just in this area. Now, a lot of people are gonna go to the gasket area. They think it's in the port, but all the gains, the biggest gains are all actually right underneath the valve and the valve seat. So many people go the wrong direction and then they actually hurt the cylinder head, they don't help it. Now, that's actually kind of the case here too because if you get the percentage wrong, so if you make it too big, then you're gonna lose. If you make it too small, it's actually not gonna gain much, but at least you kept it small. So you have to do it right. So when I say do it right, I'm saying you don't wanna make it one angle, which would be 100% of the size of the valve. I would say don't go more than 90% of the size of the valve on most cylinder heads. I would say 99.9% .9 of them are not going to like it bigger uh, than that. And most of them are not even going to like it that big. But there is a percentage and you have to find it and you find it on the flow bench, at least that's how we do it. And we figure out what percentage of the size of the valve it likes. We sneak up on it and then that's our program.
Now let's go over what you've seen there, and this is just being by hand. I ported this area or this area. You never want to go up here just because it's the wrong angle. You only want to go as far as the tool will go naturally. So you see here, I'm just pushing with my fingers and it only goes up to this, just at the corner of the short turn, right here into this area here, right into this area here. And then I ported the center. And that is how you blend it in and then you can turn it over to do the short turn. So the issue with the short turns is they're actually not a turn right here. So there's a big piece right here that stops the air from just moving nice and smooth. And there's a big bump right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend what we were doing right here and on the corners here, making this wider and then also making it a turn into the valve seat. So I'm done roughing it in with the Head Games half inch super spiral burr. And now we're gonna go to the 3 8 double cut burr. Now this is just for blending. I do not use this for porting, I don't use it for shaping. It does neither very well. What it does do, it just leaves a better finish. So that way you can either sand it or not. It just gives a much better finish. This is mainly actually for cast iron. And here you have the finished product. This is after it's been ported and ground and it is all ready to go. So this is all blended into the valve seat. You see here, the valve seat's blended in and it goes right up to the bottom cut. So you don't wanna go any more than the bottom cut. You don't wanna bring it all the way up here. You just wanna take it right there and uh, it lines up pretty much with the guide hole right over here. Now for the intake. So the intake side, we're gonna use the Head Games three quarter super spiral burr. This is the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger burr is because it doesn't give a shit what's in front of it. It is gonna take root material out very, very quickly. Now I use this because it's a bigger hole and I wanna keep it round. And because this is round, it's much easier to keep the shape so you don't have a lot of shaping to do when you're trying to make a circle. Just to give you a better visual of what this looks like, as you can tell, it is almost the same size as the port. So this means that you're gonna have a lot, if you have a smaller burr, let me go on a smaller burr, you see here. The smaller burr, you have to shape it. You're doing all this stuff. And you can do that on the exhaust, that's fine. But when you're doing it on the intake side, where you can put a bigger burr in it, it is really advantageous to use the biggest burr that you can stick in it. And that way you do not have to worry about shaping. Some of you guys are going to see that there is a ledge right here and I'm not porting it out. Well, the problem is that it is on the angle that you're never going to get out. If you get it out, you're going to dig. And you're going to dig from here to here and you're really not going to gain anything from digging. You're really just going to make it much bigger. And believe it or not, I know some people won't believe it, but if you go on the flow bench, uh, this, if you did remove it, if you did dig all this out, you're actually going to, as I said, you're going to make it too big and you'll lose more than you would gain by just leaving it. Now the short turns on the intake side have this big ridge here. So you can see this right here, it's a big ridge and it's not a turn anymore, right? So it goes from a turn and then it hits this piece here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this. We're going to widen this area here and here, and we're going to make this a complete turn right into the bottom cut of the valve seat. So repeat that last time, we're gonna hit the whole port, what we just did with the Hit Games 3 8 
double cut burr just to blend it all in and then make it all nice and nice. Here is the finished product. Now, we're not going to sand it. I know a lot of guys are going to think that you need to sand it because, well, they think that surface finish matters, and I'm here to tell you, absolutely does not. There's not one CFM gain in that, and just leaving it the way it is here will work great. All right, now this thing is ready for guides and a valve job. Keep watching. So a lot of people think that a valve job is just a valve job. You just go down to the street, get whatever this guy's gonna give you and it's gonna work. Well, it works, it seals, but it doesn't pick up the cylinder head, it doesn't pick up flow. And that's the one thing that Head Games Motorworks has, I think, over a lot of different shops, is that we flow test every single cylinder head, or I should say every valve job that we use has been flow tested. We know it works, we know it doesn't work, we know it's, it, there's a whole lot of different angles. So you're gonna have your, your base 45 degree angle and then there's a top cut, a bottom cut, there's a throat cut. There is the width of these angles. They're not all created equal. And that is one thing that you have to keep in mind. We're gonna take a look at the exhaust first. From the crack of the valve to 150 lift, we're almost dead even to the OEM. But by 200 lift, the head game just starts building up. And at 300 lift, the head game's pocket port and valve job just walks away from the OEM up to 450 lift. This thing is just gangbusters. On the intake side, again, from the crack of the valve to about 150 lift, we are looking at almost a dead race between the head games and the po the head games pocket port and the stock intake but by 150 it starts walking up and you see at 200 lift now the head games pocket port is alive and well and it picks up a good 30 cfm throughout the range this thing just walks away from the oem it is ready for boosted beating. All right, that's going to do it for us today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see more Audi content, make sure you comment below and let us know what you want to see.